Yeah, I'm working on a shape with Channel Islands that uh, the whole goal is to get people on the water. And over the last couple of years, just seeing it more consistently in the lineups, like it doesn't matter where it's lowers or down at the beach rigs in town or even in Europe and all across Australia. It's just been, it's been mind blowing. You know, it's uh, incredible. I knew this board had a lot of potential just with the outline and the shape. It was designed for high performance surfing, but with ease, you know, to get you out in the conditions that generally you'd stay on the beach or complain that your shortboard wouldn't be the right one to get out there for. So it's just been mind blowing to see it in pe under people's feet and in a variety of conditions. So it's been pretty exciting. Oh man, seriously, spine tags have been the best addition ever to the Rocket Wide design. Um, since they kind of came on board with it with Channel Islands, it's, I mean, I would say every Rocket Wide's at least 25% better. And I tell that basically to every single person that I talk to. It just has so much more life and spring under its feet. Um, I think the shorter, wider design really kind of works with the spine tech technology. It just seems to, you know, have a soft, damp um, feeling, whereas other epoxies kind of are like that high tinny frequency under your feet. So they, these feel really natural um, through the turns, over choppy conditions. Um, it's really interesting too. They work well even in bigger waves, open face waves. Um, it doesn't really hold back anything in terms of the performance of the board. So yeah, I just tell people, man, it holds up, it works great, and it definitely accelerates your, your performance level in any kind of condition. So I definitely recommend the Channel Islands uh, Spine Tech anytime it's available in Rocket Light.